makes me crazy I dream about a baby Gazing on days and contagious show my baby to check out Eminem and the title of this one is Deja, Deja Vu. Vu. Uh-oh. No, he just did something crazy. DMC, we have a mid-30s <laughs> male found down, unresponsive, possible overdose, substance unknown, pulse is 60 and thready, respirations 8, he's intubated and we're bagging him now. Uh, BP 90 over palpation is cool, pale and diabetic, has aspirated, uh, GSC is 3, we'll update and route, ETA 10 minutes. As I fall deeper into a manic state I'm a prime candidate for the gene To receive the drug addict trait Blood pressure climbs at a dramatic rate I seem to gravitate to the bottle of night Well then I salivate Start off with the night Well like I think I'll just have a taste Couple of sips of that Then I gradually graduate To a harder prescription drug called Valium Like yeah that's great well. I go to just take one And I end up like having eight Now I need something in my stomach Cause I have an ace Maybe I'll grab a plate of nachos And I'll have a steak And you think that with all I have at stake Look at my daughter's face Mommy, something is wrong with dad, I think He's acting weird again He's really beginning to scare me Won't shave his beard again And he pretends he doesn't hear me And all he does is eat Doritos and Cheetos And he just fell asleep in his car Eating three musketeers in the rear seat Sometimes I feel so alone I just don't know Feels like I've been down this road before So lonely and cold It's like something takes over me As soon as I go home and close the door Kinda feels like deja vu I wanna get away from this place I do But I can't and I won't Say I try but I know that's a lie Cause I don't and why I just don't know Maybe just a nice cold brew What's a beer? That's the devil in my ear. I've been sober a fucking year, and that fucker still talks to me. He's all I can fucking hear. Well, so come on, we'll watch the game. It's the Cowboys and Buccaneers. <laughs> and maybe if I just drink half, I'll be half buzzed for half of the time. Who's the mastermind behind that little line? With that kind of rationale, man, I got half a mind to have another half a glass of wine. Sounds asinine, yeah, I know. But I never had no problem with alcohol. I'll just look out for the wall. Ain't for the couch, I'm about to fall. I miss the couch and down a goal looking like a bouncing ball. Shit must have knocked me out because I ain't feel the ground at all. Wow. What? Wait a minute. Man, he's man. He's not talking about himself, is he? Or you think he's referring to himself in this song? I mean, when he say like deja vu, like like everybody knows, like it's been like well documented, and he's he's told the story about him having his own addiction and stuff. Yeah. So I feel like if anybody could could talk about it and say something about it, it would be him. Okay, because yeah. I I thought he was re referring to he he made reference to having uh, like an addiction trait, basically. Like, yeah, yeah, and I think that goes back to like you know like his, his mom or his parents, his parents things parents? like that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But wow, like, like he goes very, very in detail. Like, there's a lot of detail in this song right yeah. now. Wow. Oh, looking like a bouncing ball. Shit must have knocked me out because I ain't feel the ground at all. Wow, what the fuck happened last night? Where am I? Man, fuck am I hung over and goddamn I got a headache. Shit, half a Vicodin? Why can't I? All systems ready for takeoff. Please stand by. Sometimes I feel so alone. I just don't know. Feels like I've been down this road before. So lonely and cold. It's like something takes over me as soon as I go home and close the door. Kinda feels like deja vu. I wanna get away from this place I do. But I can't and I won't say I try. But I know that's a lie because I don't. And why I just so don't I take know. Like it splash, it hits my stomach then I Couple of weeks go by, it ain't even like I'm getting high. Now I need it just not to feel sick. Yeah, I'm getting by. Wouldn't even be taking this shit if the Sean didn't die. Oh, uh. yeah, there's an excuse you lose, Bruce, or you use. There's new rules. It's cool if it's helping you to get through. It's 12 noon. Ain't no harm in self inducing a snooze. What else uh. is new? Fuck it, what, what else is new in your shoes? Now here I am three months later, full blown relapse. Just get high and shoot the kids. Get home from school, homes relax. Wow. And since I'm convinced that I'm an insomniac, I need these pills to be able to sleep so i take three naps just to be able to function throughout the day let's see that's an ambient each nap how many value three and that will average out to about one good hours sleep okay so now you see the reason how come he has wow. taken four years to just put out an album b see me and you we almost have the same outcome he because that Christmas Ooh, whoa <laughs> he said he's legend or didn't he I, I didn't yeah he just said he's legend wow put out an oh. album b. See yeah me? he said heath Okay, yeah. that's who he's referring to. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know who you thought. Whoa! About. Wow! 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 Okay. 
Okay. See, the reason how come he has taken four years to just put out an album beat. See, me and you, we almost had the same outcome heat. Cause that Christmas, you know the whole pneumonia thing? It was Bologna. Was it the methadonia thing? But a hydrocordone, you hide inside your pornos. Your VCR tape cases with your ambient CR. Great places to hide them, ain't it? So you can lie to Haley. I'm going Betty by Whitney, baby. Good night, Elena. Go in the room and shut the bedroom door. And wake up in an ambulance. They said they found me on the bed. Sometimes I feel so alone, I just don't know Feels like I've been down this road before So lonely and cold, it's like something takes over me As soon as I go home and close the door Kinda feels like deja vu I wanna get away from this place I do But I can't and I won't say I try But I know that's a lie cause I don't And why I just don't know Talk to me. I like when he gets vulnerable like this on his tracks, though. Like he starts telling like his truth, his stories, and stuff like that on his on his, you know, on his songs, and just kind of being open with people about stuff. Because almost for a second, I was like, I, I, you know what? I didn't know Eminem had any any um, addiction issues. Mm-hmm. I, did, I never knew that. So listening to him, that's why I was just like, is he talking about himself? Yeah, on this one that's for insane. sure. Wow. Because because he's even talking about Haley and. You know, pretty much having getting to that point where you know he OD'd as well. I think he even said that he <coughs> did. But, but yeah, I mean, just everything that he talked about in his song. You know, but with a lot of artists, I like when artists get vulnerable and they just give you a piece of them, like a real true piece of them. You know. Yeah. Because yeah. I because I feel like somewhere through the story, through everything that that they say, even when it's like, even when they get like so descriptive, where sometimes it might be offensive to other people. Yeah. But, but I like it because it's like it's just just real life. It's real. It's personal. Absolutely. And and, and, and it's a lot of other people that's going through those same type of personal battles too. So I, I can always appreciate whenever any any um, artist you know gets very very personal. Yeah. On a you know on a very very personal level, I can always appreciate that. Promise you, those are the easiest songs to write. <laughs> they can Every be single time. Like, they can be absolutely because words just come to you so easy when you write like personally. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, because because it's truth. It's not something that yeah, you have you're to not kind of, making it up. You're you, not... you don't have to pull words from here and pull no. words from there and pull no. thoughts from here. It's like it's already in you. Yeah, the story was already written. Facts. Yeah, but yeah, man, I, I just love like 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 his lyrical ability. I mean, everybody say that as far as like Eminem and his lyrics, but I I just like how descriptive he he gets. With, with these songs, it's like he, he definitely paints a picture where you can actually see them, you know. Yeah, oh, yeah, but but he's always been a very descriptive type of like writer, like that. That's yeah. just that's what I feel like makes him such a creative, like artist in general. Eminem and, and Nick know? suggested this one too, right? Yes, yeah, shout out to Nick, shout Nick, out to Nick. We appreciate this one. This was definitely a, a, <laughs> uh, one of those needle in the haystack. This yeah. is definitely like one of those gems for sure. Yes, absolutely. And he explained why it took him so long to make another album, yeah. Cause of, cause of that. His own the, the personal whole, battles. It, it, the addiction. Yeah. Custom your body, boy, I'm addicted. Insisting come 